India, a land of incredible diversity where ancient traditions meet modern innovation and where every day millions of lives are intertwined with the rhythm of the economy. Have you ever wondered how this vast and dynamic country calculates its economic might? In this video, we will take you on a journey through the heart of India's financial machinery, revealing the secrets of how the nation calculates its economic power. Welcome to our video on the calculation of India's gross domestic product GDP for the financial year 2022-2023. Before that, let us take a look at how the GDP of India was calculated. India predominantly employs the expenditure approach for the GDP calculation. The GDP report for India is created by National Statistical Office NSO that uses the expenditure approach to calculate GDP. These expenditure components are calculated based on data from various sources including surveys, government reports and other statistical information. The NSO along with other government departments and agencies compiles and analyzes this data to determine the components, values and their contribution to India's GDP. This approach breaks down country's GDP into different components to understand and analyze the various drivers of economic activity. The formula that is used here is GDP is equal to private consumption plus gross fixed capital formation plus government expenditure plus net exports. To understand this method further and the details about each of these components, kindly watch our previous video on GDP calculation. The link is in the video description below. India's GDP as calculated for the financial year 2022-2023 is about 272 lakh crore rupees. Now that is one big number. If we break it down in terms of expenditure components as mentioned in the formula that we saw earlier, the first and major contribution is from consumption, which is estimated to be around 193 lakh crore rupees. This can be further broken down into private consumption, which is 165 lakh crore rupees, and government consumption, which is 28 lakh crore rupees. The total investment for the year, which is the second component, came to be around 79 lakh crore rupees. India made a total export of 62 lakh crores while it imported a total of 72 lakh crore rupees. So India as a country was a net importer for the year with the value of about 10 lakh crore rupees. After adding other minor components like change in stocks, discrepancies etc. We arrive at the total value of GDP for India which is about 272 lakh crore rupees. If we talk in terms of percentages, the share of these components are private consumption 61%, government consumption 10%. So total consumption accounts for about 71%. Then investments for about 29%. The final component of export is about 23% and imports is 26%. So total net exports contribute to about minus 3%. The other factors contribute to the remainder of 3%. If you look at India's GDP last year, there has been a growth of about 16%. However, GDP of nations are actually assessed in US dollars for better comparison at global level. So if we convert GDP of India from rupees to dollars and then calculate the growth rate, we find that it actually grew only by 7.4%. This is because the rupees has weakened drastically compared to dollar in one year. If we look at growth of India's GDP over the last 10 years, we find that the annual growth rate of India's GDP is about 6.2%, despite continuous devaluation of Indian rupee against dollars over the period. But is this number good, bad or ugly? We will find that out in our upcoming videos. If you found this video informative and educational, 
please do like share and subscribe our channel for more such educational content on finance and economics stay tuned for our next video